Well, welcome to the summit of East Lomond. At 434 meters, it's one of the higher hills in Fife, one of the two Lomond hills, and it's five minutes past eight, and the sun's coming up. I made a point of coming up here this morning because, well, it's been incredibly grey for the longest while. It's been, we're on the what, the 19th day of November, and my weather station has recorded two dry days in that whole time. And it's been quite mild. Actually, it's been very mild. This November is already tracking to be the warmest November I've recorded since moving to the Lomond Hills in 2010. Uh, so today is forecast to be quite cold and sunny with a typical northerly where Fife gets good sunny weather. When I left the house this morning, about half an hour ago, it was 1.6 degrees. So that's the coldest it's been since probably April or something like that. So it's good to make a point of coming out and actually getting these tiny little adventures, I suppose, on your doorstep. Because especially with going down into tier three, Fife is now and the crackdown on travel as you move into the winter months. The possibilities of getting towards more bigger hills, higher hills, colder hills where you get lots of snow and ice seems less likely in the immediate weeks, notwithstanding what the weather's doing. So to come up today and actually see a sunrise from up high in the cold on the top of a hill, could be as close as many of us get to actually doing that sort of thing, so seizing the moment. I suppose at first I was really hoping to have uh, no cloud on the horizon because it was forecast to be so clear, but I was hoping the sun would sort of just rise straight out from the landscape. But uh, often you want cloud, don't you, to actually have something for the light to bounce off. Arguably could do with a bit more cloud actually today, a bit more high cloud higher up sort of paint a much richer palette of deep reds But I'm certainly not complaining looking down towards the Lammermuirs just now. I mean it looks like it's on fire, doesn't it? Amazing You sort of want it out there don't you sort of paint it up that way There's a couple of other people who have come up here just since I've been up here. I can hear them talking at the top um, It's funny that's that used to be quite an unusual thing. I mean, even coming up on a, a weekday, on a weekend morning, actually, until fairly recently, coming up here on a cold day like this, you, you'd be fairly certain you wouldn't see anybody. Um, but with lockdown and the restrictions and the travel restrictions and everything being closed, I think habits have changed. Uh, I've certainly noticed. I mean, I think we've all noticed how much busier our local beauty spots are. And that's no different here. This is a busy hill now. Um, and it's not unusual, it has, certainly hasn't been unusual over the last few months to see people sat up here well into the evening on quite windy cold days as well, watching the sun go down out that way. It's great that people are getting out and discovered these things, you know, these small joys, these small pleasures. Actually I'm doing a bit of an injustice calling it a small pleasure. I mean it's anything but, isn't it? I mean, yes it's... It might seem mundane, it might seem the most normal thing in the world to do, to just get up of a morning and go and just watch the sun coming up for a little while, but... It's not a small thing, I mean, what a way to start your day. It's such a... it's funny isn't it? It's such a, it is such a simple thing, it is such a, something that everybody in the world pretty much gets to see. Every day, you know, cloud permitting of course, but everyone's got the opportunity to do this, to be up to see the sunrise. It's something that sort of binds us all together. This, but it is something you can take enormous pleasure from. Personally, I take more pleasure from it this time of year when it's... I don't have to get up at four, half past three in the morning to actually go and see the sunrise. One of the things I know... We're all feeling a bit glum and gloomy at the moment, especially with coronavirus and... Nights drawing in and it getting colder and wetter and darker and greyer and all those things, but... All the more reason to get out of the morning and actually see these things. But in winter, this is one of the things that really lifts my soul. The fact that you can be up, not at the, you know, yes, the crack of dawn, but not like four or five in the morning. You can be up at seven, eight o'clock and see the sun coming up, which it's doing right now. It's just starting. Oh, there we go. We're getting the blindingness. Now, that's the point you want. That's the magic moment, isn't it, that everyone wants in the sunrise. That moment that the sun just sort of blasts over the, sun, over the horizon, which it's doing right now. Oh, lifts the soul. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It does feel, I mean, the sunlight like this, that golden sunlight, it does feel restorative. 
restorative, restorative, restorative. Uh, and everyone always goes on about how you get vitamin D from sunlight, but this time of year, the sun just isn't strong enough to produce it in your skin. It doesn't matter how much sun you get, how high it gets, it just, it just isn't strong enough to produce vitamin D, I, I, I understand. But that doesn't seem to matter. There's no denying that just feeling that on your face, seeing that, it might not be producing an actual chemical, physical reaction in your skin, but nevertheless, it does feel like you are oh, being revitalized somewhat. Um, the landscape, everything's got brighter. There's shadow, there's definition, brightness. Color has come back to the landscape, which has been devoid for the longest while. It's wonderful. And it has been, I mean, uh, it has been so grey. It's been so grey for such a long time. And even when we had, the last time I can remember having any sort of decent amount of sun, it was when uh, we had the fog and the hard came in. So, yes, you could get above it briefly and you could get that, that, get that sunlight. But at the same time, it, it, you know, the fog was ever present and you went in and out of it. And it was still that feeling of greyness and dampness and wetness. And because it is now... You know, it must be below one degree up here, and you can feel that because the paths have been so muddy, you can actually feel them underfoot. Everything, as soon as you get that cold, the paths start to you know congeal a bit and dry up. It's noticeable from just from yesterday how wet everything was. And though it hasn't gone below freezing to get the ground rock hard, the ground is actually you know it feels like it's healing, and you need these cold spells to get get that healing going on the paths. You know, turns to ice, and then you get sublimation. That the ice turns to vapor without even going through a water phase. You know, everything dries out gradually when you get the cold weather. You do need it. The ground needs it. We need it. I need it. I certainly need it. I need the cold weather, and it feels wonderful to be sat up here on a cold day. Finally, although sadly, it's only going to be a day. This is it. It's all we get. A day of something near, more approaching normal November weather, and then it's back tomorrow to rain mildness. You have to enjoy it while you get it and make the most of it. Oh, I love this time of year. Assuming it's cold, but it is good to be cold. <laughs>